Right, right. Yo, oh, do, do you remember, do you remember the, the one uh, incident with the the cash dad where they saw she had it, they took her money, and her son came back and blew their fucking face up? Yeah, I remember that one. I love that story. In the park and coming back. Okay, so this is this is good. We, I, I think I covered this story. This We've is heard update. it time and time. This is an update on the story I covered a long time ago, man. This is. We've heard it time and time again. Right now, cities across our nation are seeing a rise in crime, but recently, more small communities in those cities are resorting to a simple addition to their neighborhoods in hopes of deterring crime, string lights. And here in Baltimore, a man has been working up the light every block in Canton for years now, trying to keep criminals out of his neighborhood. He first spoke about this months and months ago, so we thought we would check in. New at 11, Dennis Valera shows us how Chris Broughton's efforts are faring. From the police data we were able to get, total crime in Canton is actually up. However, when you look at specific <laughs> categories. Total crime is up, man. It's no solution. Yo, uh, he, he, we... he even caught uh, two things. He said from the police data we were able to get. Yeah. So they, they aren't even able to get the full story anyway. Exactly, because, yeah, full story makes some black people look bad. You got to meet yourself, we were able to get total crime in Canton is actually up. However, when you look at specific categories, there are some declines. And the man responsible for putting up lights in the neighborhood say they've helped. The lights around Canton give the neighborhood a nice feel. Aesthetic. Look what you gotta do to just like that's think about if you're in your fucking house, you gotta change your drapes. You gotta get fucking pitch black, fucking thick drapes now so you can get can get some sleep at night. You have to recreate the sun to combat the sun. <laughs> right. That literally looks like a fucking sun. That bullshit. Like this this is this is what gliders are doing. And and I get what June said about glider men. Like, this is your answer, and you're bitching about your women. You're literally bitching about your women, and this is your answer to fucking men coming in, teenagers coming into your neighborhood and terrorizing you. <laughs> I mean, so both. I mean, I get fishermen, but I also get June. Well, she said, we got to have both of them on here at the same time. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Because I I, I don't want fishermen to think that we're, because I, again, I've said before, I like fishermen, but it's just that one part that I don't, I, I don't understand. Like, Aren't they a reflection of the men? Yeah, yeah, glider men have been so emasculated, they're afraid to assert any control over women. Well, it's it's the same fight in the blackosphere right now. Definitely. But yeah, for yeah, sure. I think though, so. You know, you mean, though, there's less there's less on the line though. In the black <laughs> there's, nothing on, there's nothing on the line. I mean Oh I mean, yeah, it's 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 the worst of the you know. And, well, they, you guys have the world, like the world is in like with glider men, the world is in the balance. With sun men, it's just, am I going to get some pussy or is it going to be hard for me to get pussy? Or it's going to be easy for me to get pussy. Well, it's, all, it's all about the focus, I think. Like, go back to to the the narrative, the subtleties that they've set to for the minds that everybody. So basically on TV, right, you got Homer Simpson, you got Peter Griffin. That's the dumbing down and the disregarding of the, the glider male that they the minds of everybody for years. Yeah, every, That's the juice every crew. White guy, every white guy on TV is a fucking idiot. And That's the juice like crew that. effect right there, though. Yeah, it's been like that to for be honest. years. It's been like Do you that. guys notice that? I That's the yeah. juice crew in effect. Hollywood. Yeah, they went Hollywood. And that's why the sun, the suicide rate is so high. Yeah, every bladder male on TV is a fucking moron. But um, this guy right here, I don't know if he's a moron, but if if I'm the women in the community, this ain't getting me wet. But say they've helped. The lights around Canton give the neighborhood a nice feel. Aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and for many neighbors, a feeling of safety. We have two dogs at home, so we are constantly in and out. And that late night run, it definitely feels safer um, when it's all lit up at night, when we're you know running across to the park and coming back home. I work at the hospital, and I arrive usually in the evening after dark. And so it's nice. I park on the street. All the glider women are saying they love it, though. My bad. My bad. 
They're loving it lit up like a Christmas tree is what they're loving. <laughs> yeah. hey, Shiny man. things. Shiny things. Hey, man. Glider women, glider women have approved. This is glider women approved. Nice that it's lit up. I feel safe. The man with the bright idea. Chris Broughton. My partner and I are, you know, back and forth down the street. Um, he's on one end. I'm passing the lights over. Your partner now. Are you talking about your partner, like partner, or your partner, like help you do this shit? Your work partner or your partner? He's talking about his work partner at this All right, point. hopefully, hopefully, so hopefully. Chris Broughton. My partner and I are, you know, back and forth down the street. Um, he's on one end. I'm passing the lights over to him, sliding my ladder down, and he slides his ladder down. He says around 60 blocks are now covered by lights, but how effective are they? Looking at police data, in the last year, there have been 558 total crimes in Canton, up from 400 in 2020. But some crimes, like robberies and burglaries, are down. Broughton says the lights are doing their... How far down? Like, there's one less? Because if it was one less than last year, they'll say it's down. Like, how far down are robberies? I, I, I want to I know how much down. Some crimes, like robberies and burglaries, are down. Broughton says the lights are doing their job. One thing I usually do notice uh, on the local neighborhood Facebook groups and next door and stuff is a lot of the crime is happening in poor lit situations. In the years okay, since so he said, we, so so maybe you just got to, all we need is this guy to fucking light up the whole fucking country, man. Just get a big fucking like, <laughs> big ass light. <laughs> right, light up the world. <laughs> Yeah, it could it never be nighttime. It should be daytime. Oh, yeah, we could make it daytime, twenty four hours a day. That that'll work, man. I think that'll that'll fix things. That'll 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 knock crime down on um, about maybe ten percent. <laughs> Shit. Poor lit situations. In the years since putting these up, Broughton says it's gotten him closer with his neighbors. An unintended benefit. If your neighbors know you then they know, oh, this person doesn't belong at that house, at that doorstep, or or in that car. Um, so that community building is a huge, huge piece to Yeah, but that person's black, and if you fucking say it, you lose your fucking job. What, what this Chris person Brian is he talking policy. about? Right. And they're afraid to call the police if there's any sun men in the area because they might be deemed as racist. Exactly, man. The fuck are they talking about, man? Um... These people are fucking crazy, man. Um, 